Hi, I'm Shilpa. I'm Daniel. And today we're talking about dealing with arguments. Am I? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Arguments can start for lots of different reasons. They can be with your siblings, your friends, your family. And arguing is fine. That is part of growing up. That is part of family oh, life. Yeah. Um, but there are some ways that we can deal with it too. And so one of those ways is separating out how you feel about something um, and what the, the problem is. If you're like het up, is that a phrase? That's Emotionally? Phrase. Yeah, you're already. Worked up, you're if, yeah, if you're yeah, worked yeah. and riled up by like external forces and then your little brother comes in and does something a bit annoying, that's magnified tenfold, so you just kind of... Ah. You forget when you're in a mood or when you're having to deal with something, everyone around you doesn't also have that exact thing that you're dealing with. You might remove yourself from the situation. If you remove that combustible element and you kind of are able to go away and just go, breathe, just breathe for a second, and then think, right, what's happening? What are we fighting about? That way you can try and do the processing that you haven't been able to do while you're in the argument. It is important to go back to try and resolve it. It's difficult as well if you've got a lot of pride or if you are so insistent in, the, in this particular argument you're in the right. It does feel a little bit humbling, it feels a little tail between the legs, but it's also quite a powerful thing to make that first step, step and to, make the, to try and make that bridge. Sorry that I snapped to you that way this is a thing that frustrates me. It doesn't invalidate your feelings to say sorry. It because just means that... you're entitled to feel that. Yeah, you are. One of the things that can happen is we can get into an argument and maybe we're pointing out people's faults. It's accusatory and it's, it's aggressive. You're reeling off a list of things that might make them feel bad and that's a really negative environment. You can only fix things by positively thinking, okay, how do we look at the situation and what are we going to do to fix it and why are we having this? Argument. And one of the ways that you can do that is uh, setting some ground rules. And that sounds like quite a formal thing to do, but it could just be, OK, I'm going to talk for two minutes and, you know, please hear me out and then it can be your turn. Yeah. If you're on the receiving end, it's important to accept and, and agree with that. Even if what you think they're saying is maybe unfair, let them finish the thought. And there are lots of different ground rules that you could use. Not use words like blame or fault. The tone that you're both talking in. Yeah. So sometimes the louder you get, the more shouty it feels. Another tip to remember is that uh, you're both human. Trying to remember what, it's, what it might be like to be in the other person's shoes. There are people with feelings and their own problems and sometimes they bring those things into the argument. It's about growing your empathy skills and yeah. thinking, well, maybe they've had a bad day or, you know, how might they be feeling because of something that happened to them. Sometimes it can help to make an action plan. Coming to a compromise, even if both of you can't quite um, agree on what it is that you want to achieve. I'm not going to get everything I want, you're not going to get everything you want, but what can we get so we can both get some stuff and move forward and not have this fight anymore. And if you feel like maybe you're carrying something around from the last argument that you had, you can always talk to a childline counsellor um, or someone that you can trust. We also have a video coming up about how to cope with your parents arguing, which will also feature Dan. So until then, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.